Okay, here we go. Today, uh, last couple of days, I've been installing the uh, radiator systems upstairs, and this is the brain center of it all. As you can see, there's a bunch of relays here. Um, so the 24 volt command uh, cables, they come in here. I'm having to zoom out. This is Tecmar 315 relay box. I'm kind of not using it the, the way they designed it. I'm kind of modifying it to use it along with the Taco SR501. This is the single zone relay. Uh, I, I ended up, somehow I ended up with these two devices, so I got to kind of come up with a design. So I have to reroute it. Uh, uh, so one thing, first thing I need to do is I need to move the breaker, the 15 amp breaker for the main pump and move it to that 100 amp. The reason why that 100 amp is going to be tied to a generator outside. So that will be my critical uh, panel. So all my critical panels are going to be there. So I have to move it onto that. So that's the first thing I need to do and run it. And then I'll run a cable to this junction box. Uh, and I will parallel this Tecmar with one zone for the uh, output to the uh, to the pump. So one of one of them, one of them is the power coming in onto this tech uh, taco, and then going out to the pump. These are two power lines, and uh, obviously this is a relay box. So I need to have it parallel with that output of relay box in that junction. So I have to rewire that. But uh, so far, I've been doing these pipes. Uh, you can see I did this my own zone manifold. Originally, I was using not Apex uh, brass. I, I thought about it. Uh, I think I would just go brass. I mean, Apex It's much better for many reasons. And I have a shut-off valve. <laughs> So I I did, I'm building another manifold with the zone valves on it today. Uh, so a lot of work. In the meantime, my kids, I gave them a few tasks. And uh, they don't like to be on uh, YouTube, and I don't want them to be on YouTube. What's going on? What? So what's going on, Iba? I just said I didn't want to say, uh, that's not funny. <laughs> Alright, so my uh, children, what did you put? Did you put one already? Okay, my kids, they put uh, the face plates. And it was looking nice. And then, uh, what? And then they're also, I had them install this IKEA cabinets. All right. What did I just say? No, I'm not putting your video, don't worry. Right? See that? You did your room too? The facelets looking beautiful, yeah? So I get them small tasks like that. So. It's looking nice, it's looking nice. It's looking nice. Right? Uh, Rick uh, installed uh, the baseboards for me. Um, that went quick. I'm moving... I'm moving uh, the heater this uh, heater over by that window and uh, so probably this door probably needs a curtain otherwise it's probably gonna destroy my flooring um, but look at this room here it's complete um, it feels so nice um, so it's gonna be a bed there, a twin bed in that corner. 
It's going to be the IKEA wardrobe. I'm probably gonna build the storage on top, all the way across there. And then this is a desk space, right? And uh, you can see the master bedroom. Start putting the door jams, but it's not gonna be a door for a while here. Master bedroom, the same thing. A bed on that corner. And IKEA kitchen cabinets with the storage up there and the table. And of course we got the, the two doors. But uh, it's got a nice view outside. Uh, and you know, without the heater upstairs, even the temperature feels so nice already. Uh, but today is a nice temperature, out, five degrees outside. So it's looking good, it's looking good, right? Uh, so my next project is the kitchen. And after that, so I'm going to pause on construction for a while. After the kitchen, I should be, should be good to go. Thank you.